Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to demonstrate you a plugin, Filament plugin called Select Tree from Code with Dennis, which allows you to have select field with multiple levels, suitable for eShop categories, for example, or whatever hierarchical kind of a tree system of category. And this is one of those examples of great plugin with quite a lot of features, but as an advice to other plugin and product creators, there is no screenshot of how actually it looks like. So really well written documentation with options, but only at the end of the official page, there is a screenshot here, which doesn't even actually work on the official filament page. On GitHub, you can find at the end of the readme how it actually looks. Let's see this. But yeah, my advice to package creators first explain what you have as a value of your package and then explain the how. So I see as a part of my mission in these videos to demonstrate visually how various plugins work and this is one of the examples. So imagine you have product resource, product form, you need to add a product, for example, Barbie, and then a category would be a tree. So children, toys, Barbie, category. Barbie one, two, three, for example, we create and we have products Barbie here as a category name. And not only that, as you saw, there are a lot of customizations. So for example, I can type in Barbie here and it will find the category because I made it searchable. Also with count shows how many categories are under the hood. So inside of the children, we have two subcategories. Inside of clothes, we have other two subcategories. In terms of database structure, it's like this foreign ID from product to category ID. And then in the categories table, there's a parent ID nullable, which means that the core category is with parent ID null and all the others are with parent ID in a hierarchical structure. And then in your product resource, you describe category ID as a field of the resource, but then with relationship, you define, for example, parent ID in this case, it's kind of a typical select field, but select tree instead. And let's try any other random options here. For example, always open in the documentation. Let's try to add that and see what happens. So I'm trying to create a product and then this is opened by default. I didn't even click anything. I just refreshed the page. So this is one of the options and then you can specify a lot more with features you can see in the docs. It's a very good plugin in my opinion with a lot of features. So thank you, Dennis, for creating this one. If you want to get more plugin reviews, subscribe to this channel. And also if you have more ideas for what plugins to review, subscribe to the channel as well and put the comments below with your ideas. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.